Saturday, everybody. It's your girl, Seawit, with another Seawit session. What's a Seawit session? I'm so glad you asked. A Seawit session is a pop up interview in a pop up location with a surprise guest. Surprise, I am in Cherville, Indiana, with Eminem, Emily Edwards of Paradise Spreads. You probably saw her the other day on WGBE with Jeffrey Smith. And let me tell you, Em, you and I have known each other in different spaces, entrepreneurial spaces. And we have connected over these holidays to get folks in a mindset of healthy eating. I need it myself. I love the circumstances where I work with clients, but I have that personal benefit. But for those who don't know you or your brand, let's start there. Who is Emily Edwards? Okay, I am the CEO of Paradise Spreads, a sweet plant-based spread that contains pea protein. Three flavors, and she just happens to be holding up the caramel sea salt vanilla. That's an eight ounce tub. Mm, yummy, I can't wait for us to get into that. And I can't wait for them to crash your website. But you are not a native of the region. You know, we always do the teasing of what high school did you go to and all those kinds of things. You don't have that narrative, but we still have the same connection of roots in the South. I am a Mississippi girl. I grew up in a little small community called Stallow, Mississippi. Wow. And so uh, in that, in those roots is where I really discovered my love for sweet and baking and, and creating recipes and how that just really connected people. Mm -hmm. So we are in the throes of a holiday season. In fact, Thanksgiving is less than a um, week away. And when we talk about um, sweets and baking, I know some folks just throw their regimens of health out the window. I don't want to be that person this year. I don't want to be the one that says, well, I'm just going to do whatever I want and come January 2nd, I'll get myself back together. You have some healthy options that allow us to enjoy that sweet, but not overdo it with the calories. Talk about how you arrived because you took a scientific route, which I think is is uh, to me has more credibility. Honestly, I didn't know any better. I didn't know that you could have hired someone to actually create your formula for you. Uh -huh. I just thought, okay, you find a place where you can do product development, you find a food scientist. Mm. And so I got connected with Purdue Lafayette, the food science department, and spent a year, over a year, in product development. Wow. Uh, learning about ingredients, learning about food safety, and just all of the things of how you take a product to market and not you take it from your kitchen to commercialization. Well, that to me is a very trustworthy method as opposed to, well, I had a dash of that and then I stirred it up and then I tasted it, sounded good. I went to the dollar store, got some jars and just pushed it out there. That's number one, not legal, it shouldn't be. <laughs> and then do, the, how does it guarantee that every time, every batch is right? So I would think that the scientific route, getting with the food scientists, and just making sure it's to perfection and also healthy enough is the best way to go. What made you choose the spread? Um, well, I was teetering around. I was doing muffins at the time, and this uh -huh. was during my weight loss journey. Okay. I was doing protein muffins, but I was using whey protein. And as a former therapist, I realized that a lot of clients, particularly children, have food allergies. And so I wanted mm. something that kids could enjoy and without, you know, it upsetting their stomach or them being allergic to it. So I started playing around with plant proteins. Okay. And there are a lot of plant proteins out there. Okay. And every one I tasted had the off notes, the graininess. And I thought, you know, nobody's really going to eat this because it, it tasted like dirt. Uh -huh. I told you all the other day as yeah. a kid, I ate dirt. So I'm thinking, if I don't want it, I know no one else is going to exactly. want it. And so um, when I went down to Purdue, I had the original flavor was maple. Okay. And that's all I had was what I did in my kitchen. And when they tested the water activity, he was like, hey, y'all know who you're going to sell this to, but it won't ever make it to the store sale. <laughs> so we played around with the ingredients, and uh, it was a lot of trial and error. The students were very, very helpful in understanding formulation, understanding scaling up. So what were they studying? Are these science students? These are food science. Uh, all food, food, all food science. scientists. So some of them are like food engineers, and so they... They do interns, and a lot of them land jobs, uh, like places like Hershey, Kraft, 
uh, Purdue has a very, very high uh, percentage rate of students finding jobs once they graduate. That's very cool. But to hear yeah. them, uh, to, for them to work with me and to product development and formulation and learning how to scale up, okay, what does this ingredient do? So you also le I also learn how ingredients work together. Okay. okay. If you put this together, this works. If you do this, then th it won't work. Like we had one ingredient in there that was an emulsifier where you b help the ingredients hold together. Okay. Well, also the pea protein acts as an emulsifier, so we came up with something different. So it was a great learning experience. I wouldn't trade it for the world because once my brand goes national, and it will. And I will know what works, what won't work, what you should do, and what you shouldn't do. So I have that back office, back kitchen experience. Well, I'm holding it, and everything just looks like it's already ready to be national. And I have tasted the spreads. I have had the snack packs. So I'm going on camera already on the endorsement side. What else was it about the food science piece that helped you to say, when these go on the shelves, they will last this amount of time or it needs to be refrigerated. How did that part work? Well, I did my own testing and okay. then I sent it in for uh, food safety testing and to make sure that, you know, it didn't have salmonella or anything in it. Because one of the ingredients that we originally had actually did cause some mold, cause some molding in it. So okay. we took that out. Okay. So uh, after that, I just kind of did my own samples here and yeah. in the kitchen where you leave it out at room temperature. I have a friend in Memphis that used to work in a lab, and he used to call and give oh, me corners because yeah. uh, they would test different things in the lab. And so, uh, Mario, if you're listening, I'm talking about you. Thanks, Mario. <laughs> and so we would discuss that, and then I would go. Before the pandemic, I spent a lot of time going to events in Chicago, meeting all kind of people in the um, food food area, and then I would just pick people's brains. Yeah. You know, I'd go on LinkedIn and... I would literally say, I don't know, and when I would call looking for my raw ingredients, I don't know this, what does this do? Yeah. And then when I would hook up with some of the people that was that developed some of the raw ingredients, I would ask questions. Okay, so if you make it this way, what is that going to do? Yeah. If I put this in here, what is that going to do? And this is the flavor I'm after, so how do I get this? And, and I make met, sure that it's that yeah. flavor, yeah. Because and I actually met it up with other scientists stuff. from some of the raw ingredients, and I developed those relationships where I could ask questions. You know, and I'm just smiling because she sounds like a scientist, but she's not. She is so not. M, you have an amazing background in a whole separate field. And before we start talking about you all ordering this delicious bread, I just want them to know what your profession is, what's your professional background, because I feel like it will encourage someone who says, well, I do this all the way over here, but I can certainly still pivot and be a successful entrepreneur. So who else is Emily Edwards? Okay, and my brother, Pastor David Edwards, says this is really my calling, and I have to agree with him. Okay. But I am a therapist by trade. So I have a master's in social work, and I ran a private practice for 15 years. And um, the ironic thing is, is that no matter how hard I try to break from that profession, uh -huh. I'm still drawn back into it okay. some kind of way. So okay. that is my, my background. Okay. Um, well, food is therapy. How about that? Food is therapy. <laughs> and so, uh, because we are where we eat. And mm -hmm. most people don't realize that a lot of things that we put in our bodies, that it affects us from a mental standpoint. Ooh. And so... That's a struggle for a lot of people because a lot of people are emotional eaters and people like sugar. They like sweet. So if I get something sweet, I want something salty. So they go hand in hand together. But I'll challenge anyone if you just take, it takes 21 days to actually change a bad a habit, habit uh -huh. and correct it. So I'll challenge anyone to try just clean eating and also include Paradise Spread of course. for your sweet okay. for 21 days. And then you come back and tell me how you feel I'm doing mentally. it. I'm doing it. So I don't know if you got a chance to check me out yesterday, but I was over with a fellow entrepreneur, I did. vitamin T. I feel a partnership coming on, you all. We're going to spread the healthiness with Paradise Spreads and Vitamin T Fitness because, of course, it's a, a working out, it's a mindset, it's a eating, and it's self-care. And so we're in the right season to do this, and I want to pivot over here to the products that we have because I want people to start shopping right now. Not only do I feel like it's a great um, 
thing for us to have in our homes, but I feel like that's the nice stocking stuffers and gifts to get folks to start that healthy mindset as we move into 2024. So what do we have that I'm taking home today? So we have, this is the strawberry caramel, this is the strawberry, and then we have caramel sea salt vanilla, and then of course we have the chocolate. And so you coffee lovers, you can take a tablespoon of this and drop it off in your coffee, and mm. it makes your coffee taste like mocha. And so you don't have to put sugar or creamer in there See? because this serves as your creamer. Okay, I'll take that. Okay. Put that on my bill. Okay. okay I'm shopping online. And then online. you have <laughs> the, our snack pack. Okay. So this is the on the go snack pack. This is the wonderful little sleeve, slides on and off. The snack pack can also be resealed because it's a 1.5 ounce cup of paradise spreads uh -huh. however some people because it releases peptides in the stomach you feel full longer so some people don't okay. finish it so you can reseal this and then the pretzels are grain free they're made out of something called cassava flour and they're not by me they're by another company cassava but cassava flour, cassava flour is um <laughs> That's fun to sweet say. potato flour okay so just a tidbit for someone that doesn't know uh -huh. and so you just slide it right back in here so this is good for your purse your backpack you know, I know that those up, chips yeah. you want to throw in there. Growing up as a kid, my mom used to have peppermint at church all the time in her purse, and you would see parents pull out little graham crackers and Ritz crackers for their kids. Uh -huh. So why not put this in your purse to take to church for your perfect, kids? Perfect, perfect. So are you in stores anywhere? Or what do we need we, to do to uh, We advocate? are not in stores right now. We okay. pulled out because we rebranded. Okay. However, you can go to our website, www.spread.com paradise p-a-r-a-d-i-s-e dot com and i tell you what i'm going to put a code on there that if you order before thanksgiving you will get 15 percent off your oh, order M. yeah that's the c-wit code y'all before thanksgiving now, as a matter of fact we'll make that code c-wit i love it so what do you like to spread uh put on um when you you know, what do you spread your spreads on? You know, Chelsea, being an entrepreneur, you have uh -huh. those highs and lows and those moments. Uh -huh. And like I said, we all like sugar. Uh -huh. So on a really rough day for me, uh -huh. I just grab me a tub of this uh -huh. and I use my finger and okay, we just dip okay, away. Okay. But my favorite thing is I love, I absolutely love sweet potatoes. And so okay. I'll bake a sweet potato, spread this on there. Oh. Um, I like it on my toast. I like bananas. So sometimes I'll grill some bread and um, spread this on there and slice up the bananas, even with the chocolate. Uh, graham crackers, uh -huh. I love fruit. I'll uh -huh. pour it over the fruit, I pour it over my oatmeal. Okay. Uh, pancakes, just whatever I feel like putting it on. But my favorite, I would say, is actually a sweet potato. And I want to emphasize, again, this is all plant-based, right? All plant-based. No preservatives, no additives. 12 month shelf life, even after you open it, you do not have to refrigerate it. You can heat it up, it goes back to its regular state. So it's got all these really cool features you can put it between two graham crackers, two cookies. Oh, wow. uh, I have one friend, she loves chocolate, and mm -hmm. so she put it on her potato chip. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so before we started this Seawood session, and welcome if you're just tuning in, this is Emily Edwards of Paradise Spreads. Um, we talked about children, food, in the schools, the healthier snack versions, and I just want to put it out there because you never know who's watching. Talk to me about what one of your goals is as far as um, getting in the schools. Just from uh, working with children, because when I, I was a therapist, I worked with children. That was mm -hmm. my specialty. Mm -hmm. And I always looked at diet before I would diagnose. I looked at diet because a lot of times, the things we eat affects us overall. Mm -hmm. And I don't think most people realize when they go to the grocery store what's in the ingredients. That's and, causing their child to bounce all and, over the walls. <laughs> and if you do, it's some of the words you can't even pronounce. Yeah. So you don't know what they are. And so we don't, going to the grocery store now is like a job to me because you have to look at all the labels and see, you know, what are they putting in our food? Yeah. What's going on here? Yeah. And so I think as a local entrepreneur, um, here in Lake County, uh, uh, this is too for my Mississippi folks. I don't want to leave you out. So okay. if you want to order, I'm still oh, a Mississippi girl. Worldwide. So um, I think when you start looking at that and you start eating healthier, uh -huh. I would like to see my backpacks, um, even with the food bank of Northwest Indiana, I'd okay. like to see in their backpacks. Okay. I'd like to see it in schools, not just 
elementary schools and high schools, but in colleges and vending machines. Yeah. I think it's a healthy alternative to if you go and get a Snicker or you go and get some potato chips or even the pretzels that they put in there. Yeah. I think it's a much healthier alternative. I love it. Well, you know, what I want to say to you, Emily, is that you've put in the work. You know, that's why I wanted to start at the very beginning because I encounter entrepreneurs all the time. Everyone's journey is different. But yours, I will say, stands out from the amount of research that you have done and the passion. You mix the two together, and I feel the makings of success. But you have experienced quite a bit of success here in the region, and I wanted to touch on it as far as some of the accolades, the awards you've won. You've done some presentations and pitch competitions. Can you just talk a little bit about that? I like to brag on my friends. <laughs> Well, in May of this year, I was the small minority small business of the year through the state of Indiana. Oh. Uh, last year, this entrepreneur thing that everybody's doing now, Entrepreneur Week, that magazine on the road. Yeah, I was featured in that last year. Uh, I've won two pitch competitions, one regional, one state through Elevate Nexus, the big sale uh, that sponsored through Purdue Northwest mm -hmm. and NITSCO. So that. Um, Featured in several magazines, so I really, one of the things about me, if Chelsea hadn't brought this up, I would never say it because my goal is always, my prayer to God and always is that no matter where you take me or what I do, that I'm humble and yes. that I can give back and help other people. Yes. I'm the professional bragger. That's <laughs> what I do when they don't want to say it. And I do have a lot of clients who do amazing things and they're like, well, I didn't want to sound too... Um, to up on myself. I'm like, I'll say it. I will say it because I really want people to understand and then ultimately trust the brand, then ultimately become brand loyal, and then that's what I want to do for you, Emily. Everybody, I need you to head over to the website. Uh, I know you're going to throw the... Uh, yeah, crash it. That's what me and Amber always yeah, say. Crash I, it. I dare you to crash it. We'll find somebody from IT to fix it. But it's the holiday season. It will be a great thing to send to somebody else. And they open and say, you know, here's a little bit of paradise. So tell us again all the ways that we can find you and follow you, Em. Okay. So I am on LinkedIn under Emily Edwards as well as under uh, Paradise Spreads. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. I don't do a lot of posting on TikTok, but I am there. On Facebook uh, and X, formerly was Twitter, Twitter. you know, yeah. formerly Twitter. And then uh, I, you can go to our website at www.spreadparadise.com. Dot com and I'm in the community all the time. Well, I'm gonna share all of this. I'm asking everybody to share this video, but I gotta know the name. We gotta know why Paradise, how it arrived. And you, of course, that's the word that always is a happy space. There's no that's like easy. negative sentences that you'd be like, I'm so mad, I feel like going to No, that, that's real easy. <laughs> um, when I was developing this, I wanted a name, like my brother said at first, name it after my grandma, my grandmother, her name is Eunice. Mm -hmm. Well, my other company was named after my mom, Genoa. So I mm -hmm. wanted something different. So I was talking to my brother one day, the pastor, Pastor David Edwards, and I said, I want something that's clean, something that was uh, no preservatives, no additives. I want something that people, when they think think about it, they think of clean, they think of just on a cloud. Yeah. He said, call it paradise, sis. Oh, on a cloud. Well, thank you, Pastor. How much did she get for that? A little time? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no. He, he is... Um, He's my biggest supporter. He and he and my sister in law, we call her half lady. Her name is Fernanda. Uh, but they are some of my biggest supporters and some of my even in the down times, ups and downs, my brother always has a way of saying what I need to hear when I need to hear it. Our brothers the best. They hey, are my brother. They are. And my sister. Well, again, I'm excited for you. Um, some of the things that you have put out here on social media. I deem that they will be manifest. Somebody from a school district, I might know a school district here or there, um, and the stores and everything, we just want the blessings to pour in. But it starts with you, those of you who are watching. It costs nothing to share the video, first of all, and to post and follow Emily on all of her various platforms. But I'm starting, I wanna do the chocolate so I can throw that in my coffee. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a snack pack for the car. What flavor do you want to try, Amber? Are you a chocolate person? Mm -hmm. Strawberry? I'm treating today. You better hurry up. I'll let her make it. Strawberry. <laughs> she strawberry. Just, 
the strawberry spread, and then I'm gonna go back and put all of my what, however I spread it. I'm gonna okay. put it online. Okay. I want to see how you all spread after you crash the website. Tag Emily, tag Seawit, so we can see what your spread is looking like. Last thing, any type of message of gratitude in this season of Thanksgiving, and we'll close oh, out. Absolutely. I think that every day that we wake up and we get a new day, that's a new day that we haven't seen. So whatever you do in that day, I think you should do your best and always remember to thank God in all that you do. Amen. And that's another Seawit session in the can. We're going to spread some <laughs> happiness today. I have been chatting with Emily Edwards of Paradise Spreads. Please make sure you show your support. Everybody have an amazing rest of your Saturday and we'll see you next time.